There's a, a great charity event and a very funny night coming up on April 27th at the Detroit Opera House. Martin Short coming to town in a benefit for Forgotten Harvest. All the details can be found at ForgottenHarvest.org. Tickets starting at $15 and on up. It's the 21st annual comedy night fundraiser for a wonderful charity, Forgotten Harvest. And two guys who are quite instrumental in getting both Martin Short and last year Seth Meyers to participate in these things are the guys behind the website Funny or Die, which was launched about six years ago. Uh, And it's become a huge website uh, with nearly 20 million unique users per month, over 60 million video views per month. And it's got virtually every big name comic has contributed in some way, shape or form to putting up videos, comic videos, uh, everything from a a, a quick couple seconds thing to uh, series that run week after week. And in fact, uh, now uh, the guys behind it who are with us, Mike Farah and Chris Farah, brothers from Ann Arbor, Michigan, uh, have actually made a feature film uh, through the website as well, and they join us here on the program. Mike and Chris, how you guys doing? Hey, guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks for coming Thank on. Thank you. All right. Which one's which? Which one's Mike? Uh, this is Mike. I spoke okay. first. All right. Chris? <laughs> This is Chris. I tell yeah. you something second. There's no way we're going to tell the two of you apart. Not a, not a, not a, not a chance. Uh, I now, can do a high-pitched kind of thing if, if that helps. Yeah, one of you imitate your mom, and we'll go on from there. because uh, <laughs> this, it's just, she, would just gonna be... she would love that. So, first of all, t- uh, tell us about how you came up with this uh, website. It's fascinating to those of us who are a little older than you a- a- as to how these businesses uh, uh, sort of spring up and, and what, what used to be the purview of network television and studios you can now sort of create on the web tell us how you did it well we appreciate that uh, I, I would love to take full credit for the success of funnier die and I, we've definitely played a pretty big role but it was actually founded by will farrell and adam mckay so so they were the founders of funnier die and then they hired me to be the first producer at funnier die and i've been here over five years and oversee the the TV, uh, uh, our, our website, our TV projects, and our film projects. So, you know, it, it it's the type of thing where uh, when you start with a guy like Will and, and Adam McKay, who are, who are down uh, shooting Anchorman 2 right now, uh, that's a pretty good place to start. But we've been able to kind of take it over from there and, and build it into what it's become. And, and what was their concept when they formed it? The concept was, you know, they met on SNL, Saturday Night Live, and they had so, they were so used to so many great sketches never even making it to air, uh, getting cut in the dress rehearsal or cut, getting cut during the week that they thought, wow, this would be a great place just to do all those things we could never really do and to have all of our friends join us. And that was kind of the premise. And, and the first video they ever made was The Landlord, which has turned into a, a huge, you know, hundreds of millions of views where Will is kind of doing battle with Pearl over the rent and uh, that was just kind of made on a lark and, and the, the the site was hardly even up when they put it up and that put us on the map six, six years ago and we've been kind of been able to build it from there now that video and I think isn't, isn't the landlord a baby yeah, that's Pearl McKay. That is right. Adam McKay's, uh, at the time, two-year-old daughter who was in the habit of repeating everything he would say, and they turned it into a very, very funny sketch video. So so something like that, where Will Ferrell is just basically having an argument with his landlord, except the landlord's a two-year-old girl, what does something like that cost to actually shoot and put up? Very little, I would imagine, right? That was probably 15 bucks. Okay, so they, they, they're bucks. not all that cheap, but they are definitely cheaper than than most things happening in Hollywood. And you and you end up getting hundreds of millions of viewers. So everybody thinks, wow, you know, that means you guys can retire. Except there's that middle part of it, which is how do you make any money off of it when you're showing everybody everything for free? Ah. Good question. Uh, well, you know, the, the, the good thing about making videos that attract those hundreds of millions of viewers is that advertisers get interested in reaching those hundreds of millions of viewers. So then we end up making funnier dive videos for studios with movies to promote or car companies like Ford. And uh, we've worked with all the car companies out of Detroit. So we were able to kind of leverage that audience we've created to, to make funny videos that hopefully don't even feel like commercials and people want to watch them because they're they're funny videos first and happen to feature a product second and now uh how how much stuff do you put up every week is there like a minimum number of new products and new series new individual videos 
we end up making about 25 original videos a month. So it is a constant state of production and development. We've got a big Jim Carrey video coming out next week that we shot just about two weeks ago. Uh, you mentioned that movie that we're in that we just shot. We shot uh, uh, our very own Steve Jobs movie starring Justin Long. That was shot just last week and will be up the the week of April 15th. So it's a very quick turnaround, and and that's what's nice about these quick afternoon shoots. You know, we get very talented people. We've got a great creative team here. Will and McKay are still very very involved, and uh, we just go out and make some fun stuff, and hopefully people like it. This is like every kid's dream, isn't it? I mean, probably every 16-year-old, 17-year-old that you meet who's into video or comedy wants to come work for Funny or Die. Yeah, well, I, and I'll let my, my brother talk, uh, answer the next question. He, we're, we're, he's, uh, he's over in the parking lot. I see him. Um, <laughs> the great thing about Funny or Die is that ourselves included, we got our jobs because of the stuff we were already out there making. We, we were making videos during the writer's strike. You might remember the writer's strike out here in November of 2007. That's when I lost my job at Paramount. We started making our own videos, and Funny or Die featured those videos, and that's how we got our jobs here. The vast majority of the people who work here on the creative team, it all came from the stuff they were out there making. And, and these videos are very cheap to make. And even when we're evaluating other people's stuff, like, yeah, how it looks is somewhat important, but all that really matters is how funny it is. So if you are a 16-year-old kid in Michigan listening to this, know it's very possible to get these jobs just by going out and doing the things that you already love doing, and that's how you end up getting paid to do it. Camera sales just jumped up mm -hmm. 50% <laughs> here. All right, as we're talking to uh, Chris and Mike Farah, who were the guys who are operating, didn't found, uh, but uh, are, are operating uh, both producing and creatively uh, Funny or Die website, which, as we now heard, was founded by Will Ferrell and Adam McKay, but features so many uh, videos and small movies and, and projects by the likes of Will Ferrell and, and uh, Jim Carrey and, and many, many others. Uh, Chris, I think, is with us here now. Uh, you guys are, have also made a film. But did you film it out in Ann Arbor, or was it done here in Michigan? Uh, yeah, the movie is called Answer This. We we uh, released it 2010 and uh, shot it in Ann Arbor, uh, partly in the city and partly on campus. It was actually the first the first uh, movie that that University of Michigan ever officially allowed to kind of license its name and and use as as uh, use itself as the setting in a film. So you released it in 2010, but. Uh, Again, releasing a film is, 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 is wholly different now than it used to be. Releasing a film used to mean, you know, there's a big drum roll and a studio would put it out and it would get picked up by theaters and then that was it. Now releasing a film, it's got so many different incarnations. It could, could end up on this website. It can end up broken down in different pieces. It could end up theatrical release, then pulled back the other way around. So uh, our, our, it, it doesn't really mean the same thing as it used to, does it? Well, I, I think I think it can actually mean uh, any of those things, you know. So, so it a lot of movies, of course, still are just released by by really big uh, studios and that kind of thing, and have the huge push. Uh, that's not usually the case for independent films like ours. We were very fortunate in that we hooked up with uh, a great distributor, uh, Reckon Reckon Pictures, and also Lionsgate. Uh, Reckon Pictures released us in kind of a limited theatrical release in about 15 theaters around the Midwest uh, a, a year ago because we felt that, you know, because of the Michigan setting, it would kind of play well in a, to a Midwestern audience. And then uh, Lionsgate uh, released the DVD of that about uh, eight months ago or so. Where is your offices? We're in uh, we're in Los Angeles uh, near Paramount uh, Studios, actually, not far from where I used to work, off of Melrose. But you could be anywhere, right? I mean, to run a funny or, or die website, you could be in Flint. 
<laughs> we could We're with most of our family, all of our families from Flint. So I'm sure they would love to see us uh, more. Uh, you know, we, we have been fortunate to, to bring a lot of Funny or Die projects back to Michigan, and we'll definitely continue to do that. Um, so, yes, you can shoot these videos anywhere. If you're a funny person, you certainly don't have to be in L.A. or New York to, to make these things happen. Uh, once you do build up a little bit uh, of a name and a body of work, it, it is helpful, uh, and we would love to you know, have the incentive mean even more than what it does right now in Michigan, and, and, and I think some of these projects will help that. But it, it is helpful to have a presence in L.A. because this is where you get the money to go off and make the things where you can mm. make anywhere. Such do, as, do, do people actually submit videos to you cold? Oh, yeah, all the time. Uh, anyone can upload a video to Funny or Die. Uh, you know, what we do are the Funny or Die exclusive videos with all the celebrities, but we have someone who watches literally every video that's uploaded. And also, if I get people emailing me videos all the time, and either I watch them personally or Chris will watch them personally or our page editor who manages the homepage will watch, the, watch it all. So, yeah, we take people's work seriously because we know – you know, this is stuff that you know, this is something that people are really passionate about, and we try and respect their work. And, and, it, it, and it's it's important to to note. So, I mean, a lot of the stuff on Funnier Die's homepage is stuff created by Funnier Die, but it really is an open source website. So anybody in Michigan could put a video on the website, and if it's a good video, then we will put it on on the homepage. Like my brother was saying, we have somebody here who actually calls through all of the uploaded videos by people all over the world and chooses the funniest one to, to put on the homepage. And so, uh, Chris, percentage-wise of the number of people that who submit stuff versus, in your view, how, how, what percentage of them is actually funny? I, I, I always <laughs> wanted to know, like, what percentage of people who think they're funny really are funny? Uh, you know, it's a tricky question because I think I'm really funny, uh, for example, but I know a lot of people who don't think I'm funny at all. So, I mean, you know, uh, am I am I really the judge or the arbiter? That, that actually gets to the heart of what makes this website tick. That's why it's called Funny or Die, because the whole point is that each viewer can vote on each video and say, is this funny? Yes. If not, then it should die. And if, and if, if a vote gets enough die votes, I think below something like 15% die votes, then it heads to heads to the crypt, which is kind of like our hall of infamy. But uh, <laughs> but if if it has a very high percentage, then then that's actually when it will it it could be featured on on the homepage. So so in a sense, the whole de- site is designed to be able to sort through things and and let people know: Are you really funny or are you not? And I mm. have absolutely no problem saying that some of the videos that I've made. For the site, which I love the most, are definitely hovering right around the 25 percent mark. <laughs> Dangerously close to the crypt. Uh, on April 27th, uh, thanks to the efforts of these guys, uh, you know, with some help uh, bringing in Martin Short to the Detroit Opera House for Forgotten Harvest. Again, all the proceeds go to help that wonderful organization. And you can go to ForgottenHarvest.org. Tickets start at $15, April 27th, at the Detroit Opera House for Forgotten Harvest. Uh, Mike and Chris Farr, we thank you guys for coming on. We're proud of you for coming from Michigan. Uh, we don't know why you didn't go to the University of Michigan, but uh, we'll have to get into that in a subsequent conversation. No, Chris did. The whole family. My, I was the only one who did it. Oh, I thought dad, one of you my... went to Indiana. I went to I went to Indiana, but Chris. Well, shame on and, you. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, oh yeah, it's yeah. yeah. We're, we're we're a big Mich- even and even though my brother went to Indiana, uh, he will always be the probably the biggest Michigan fan in okay. the family. So well, then we, we know where you'll be on. We know where you'll be on third loss to, to IU a couple weekends ago. He was probably more devastated than anybody else. Uh, okay. Well, then, then you're back in good graces here. You're out of the crypt. <laughs> so that's good. Nice to have you guys with us, and thanks for the big help on the uh, Forgotten Harvest event. Really wonderful. Good luck. It's our pleasure. Us. Thank you. Mike Farr and uh, Chris Farr are there behind uh, Funny or Die, which is a huge, huge website, and they're out of Ann Arbor. A brief break, and we'll come back and look at the traffic here. 